You can actually cut it, you know. <laughs> How did you feel at when the polls closed and, and the numbers were showing Jerry was ahead in the early stages? Well, I mean, that, that's always a little nerve-wracking, of course. Uh, those were early uh, returns, of course. So I think for any candidate watching the early results, you don't know what's coming after that. So it can always cause a little bit of... Uh, you know, it makes you a little bit concerned as to where the evening might be going, but it's fair to say that happens throughout the election because you hear from people, you hear, talk to the constituents at the door and the voters' concerns and the different things that there would be at issues or uh, interests about the leaders and the parties. This all kind of culminates in uh, what you think may happen on election day. And uh, so we, we had some thoughts about where we might end up tonight and, you know, our are for the most part uh, what we saw happen this evening in terms of the changes and the percentages that each of the parties got was kind of in line with what we were thinking might happen. So first campaign without Doug Downey running it for you, isn't it? <laughs> well, I think Doug's always been a part of this uh, campaign, obviously, and I think he did stop into Aurelia today just to kind of uh, give some support to our volunteers at the Aurelia end of the riding, and it was nice to see him as always, but yeah, he's been very much a part of it, but he's a busy guy right now. He's the Attorney General, and I understand that completely. And being Attorney General, he had to stay away from your campaign. Yeah, I suppose so, yeah. I mean, but he's a conservative, and, and look, they uh, he, he, many of the people who are here will remember him, of course, from uh, not only our campaigns, but from his other work in the riding. So uh, they're still very, uh, very much um, good friends. And, and supporters of the party. I think we were lucky with this party in that I went to Ottawa for some training in January. I took a number of online courses and we had some sessions, uh, one day sessions, both in Oshawa and Toronto that we were able to attend. But you can read all the books you want, attend all the sessions you want, don't know anything about a campaign until you actually run one. And so you're, you're just kind of happy that the first time out you're, you had a winner going for you. Uh, we have the best, I think they said there were 2,100 candidates in the country and 338 ridings. I still say we've got the very, very best. And the second thing is Bruce had a team uh, collectively uh, that was the, was the very, very best. Now, um, when the numbers started coming in, were you on pins and needles? Were you worried, or did you know, did you have a good idea where you're going to end up uh, based not, on your own polling? We were not worried. I know there were some people who were stressed. We had our own analytics showed us at least 12 percent ahead. I don't know what we finished at, but in terms, uh, we knocked on a lot of doors. Uh, we went out. We uh, spoke to a lot of people, and we were thinking we were 10 to 12 percent. But the reality is that this election was about six wonderful people. And we didn't take anything for granted until the end. Because what we were hearing at the door and what the national polls were, the gap was much closer than what we really believed it was. And um, we, we ran against five wonderful people. This was never about two people, it was about six. Are you happy that you don't have to have him kicking around the house every day now? Oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> was that ever a worry in your mind? Like, oh God, what am I going to do when if he doesn't get... Oh no, that was not a worry at all. No, that wasn't a worry. No. No, I'm really glad that he got back in again. Very happy that he got back in again. And then we will be both back up in Ottawa again because I've been going up there more often now as well. Oh yeah? Yes. Yep. So and when you go up there, what do you do? Shop or do you... Do you do you work in the office? No, or? no, I don't work in the office, but um, there's different um, events that I go to with him, and so we're busy that way, and part of an association that I'm part of now that I'm up there, and yeah, huh. it's interesting. Mm. Do you think you're going to be back in the deputy speaker's chair, or do you think they might kick you upstairs? Well, that, that will remain to be seen. That'll be a decision that'll unfold in, in the months ahead once Parliament gets back. Of course, uh, I think as a liberal, uh, this is liberal government will be in Installed that uh, that th things may not change there, but that will remain to be seen. And um, so, Parliament's not going back till at least January. 
No, I would say it'll probably come back in late November. I, I think the Prime Minister will uh, will call Parliament back uh, in late November, early December at the latest. They'll want to do, there is some necessity to get appropriations and estimates passed before we get into the December, uh, there's a supply cycle, if you will, mm -hmm. the authorities that Parliament has to give for the public service to continue. Keep so the pay paychecks going. You got it, exactly right. Okay, so first order of business for you is up tomorrow morning collecting signs? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> We're going to be going around to pick up signs and helping our tremendous volunteers uh, do the tidy up from a very long campaign. As I said, not just the sort of 40 days that we've had uh, since the writ was issued, but literally a month and a half or two before that. So we've been going pretty steady since about mid-June. So there was a moment where you went ahead of Jerry, but it was by less than 100 votes. Yes. And then the gap just kept widening. But when you were underneath, when you crossed over, what what did you feel like then? Yeah, I mean, of course, you 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 still. I mean, we didn't cross over by much initially in those first early polls and reporting. What's not known is whether that's whether what you've seen early is indicative of what's going to come, or whether there's going to be a change in that trend. Because you have no idea from whereabouts in the riding those polls are coming from. Mm -hmm. That we know that there are certain areas of the riding that the Liberals do better than we do, and that's his historic and that's normal mm -hmm. but, we, but when the returns are coming in you have no idea where they're from so uh, you really look until you need to get more polls reporting before you get a real good sense of what's happening and it was very stressful yeah. the early polls were really stressful yeah and I was very very encouraged once we started to hit like 12 and 13 polls coming in and then we well, once we were at 20 I was like okay we're good <laughs> we're gonna be okay everything is gonna be okay <laughs>